Auling dalawampu't isang laban, dalawampu ang nanakout at isa ang sumuko. Wala na halos gustong bumangga pa sa kinatatakot ang boksingero from Kazakhstan na si Gennady Golovkin na maaaring naging daylan din kung bakit umatras na ang sanay na kapanong makakalaban ni Triple G na si Chris Eubank. Pero sinagip si Chris Eubank ng kababayan niyang matapang ang defeated sa 36 na laban at IBF welterweight champion na si Kel Brook. Pumayag si Brook na kasahan si Gennady Golovkin at ang matindi from welterweight aakit pa ng dalawang division si Kel Brook para harapin si Golovkin sa middleweight division. Kasado na ang lahat pero may pag-aalala ang WBA at sinabing mapanganib ang gagawin ni Kel Brook from welterweight aakit ng middleweight para harapin ang hard puncher na si Gennady Golovkin naganap ang laban sa London, England noong September 10, 2016 isang unification fight para sa IBF, WBC at IBO middleweight title sa unang round pinatunayan ni Kel Brook na hindi siya kasama sa grupo ng mga takot dahil nakipagsabayan na agad ng suntukan kay Triple G Particularly in America yesterday on the notion that Gennady will look good at the weigh-in. He and everyone in his camp says there is no true fight looking more the way he did against Dominic Wade, trying to get in and land power shots. He takes a little bruise from the left right hook, from the right eye, from the left, from Triple G. Triple G is setting him up, and if he stay on that rope... Body shot, Brook is in trouble. And Brook reaches out and grabs Gennady Golovkin and gathers him to him. After cut by Brook, left hook brought the crowd alive. Golovkin nodding at him as if to say, okay, I tasted what you got. Kill, kill, kill. Golovkin missed with the right hand over the top. And with the belt where he can go ahead and figure it out. Triple G is number one in the sport by Taki Mokstad and landing cab. There's a good uppercut for Brook. There's a right hand for Brook. And now Golovkin comes back to give freedom of movement to Golovkin and Brook. The reality that he's going to have to fight with Triple G. Maybe he wants it that way, and they're trading in the center of the ring. And right now, Brook is getting the better of it, as Gennady keeps his one. Now jabbing, set up the right hand. And Golovkin landing a series of jabs before sweeping a right hand across Brook. Brook is through a nice short when Triple G is coming in. Uppercut by Brook. Crowd comes out of its seats. Excited by the uppercut. Brook getting in some heavy shots. Here in round number two. Golovkin gets in a right hand over the top. But Brook comes back with a forefront. Through the uppercut again, and then he threw the right hand behind it. He started to put his... Brook, let's not get too brave, but smart enough to fight a smart man fight. Referee Marlon Wright is going to call that a slip rather than a knockdown. Golovkin totally in agreement. Now you see Golovkin Golovkin. putting a lot of pressure on Brook. He's trying to now rush because what is urgency? Is urgency because he sees himself getting outboxed and getting hit with some shots that he never got hit with. And I'm pretty sure he's digging to the body with a three-punch combination. Triple G, jab right. Brook was able to keep a lot of the action in the center of the ring where he likes it. Golovkin has been able to get him to the ropes a couple of round number three. Hard right hand by Golovkin. Just he's walking in, not even ducking. He's coming in just wanting to throw the power punch, but not be leery or worry about the jab because he's so confident that he can hit Brook and maybe hurt him. And Brook got a hand there and landed a glancing blow. If he had landed it solidly, he could have hurt Golovkin. I think he is hurt, Jim. He got hit with a short uppercut just now with a right hand, and, and Brook and gets the bad end of it. Brook is trying to build something memorable here. Golovkin is trying to reverse the mo- And Triple G is doing left and a straight right, right on that same eye with the left hand. And Brook comes back aggressively, winning the admiration of the crowd. And Kel Brook seeming to feel a sense of urgency because Brook, at moments here and there, is out boxing him, competing with him, perhaps won the second round. And Gennady Golovkin finds himself, it appears, moving, punching, slipping. Every now and then, Brook stays on the ropes and he pays the price. And his corners continue to tell him 
Don't be on the ropes. Be in the center of the ring or keep moving left to right. As you see on the ropes, Triple G has a shot when he's on the ropes. And Triple Spider's faces are showing damage from the shots they've landed in the first three rounds. Not, they have no snap on it. We call them arms cleaner. Yeah, see the look, shoulder by Brooke. 39, 37, Gennady Golovkin. He, he keeps pushing him back, keeps landing hard shots. I, I just think that, it, you know, he's landing the clean a lot of punches. But I gotta tell you, Jim, Kel Brook got some draw. I mean, I haven't seen a guy stand there and trade with Gennady Golovkin. And God knows how long. Three to one, Golovkin. Golovkin delivers his fiercest rally of the fight as Harold landed a couple of hard right hands when he first got Brook to the ropes. Bernard and Brook is pitting his So I think he should stay focused. I think he was hurt a little bit. And I think that's the reason that you do those things is to let the opponent know that you're not hurt. But that normally means the opposite. And manages to knock Golovkin back with a couple of clean shots. But he's leaving his feet, Jim, when he throw a punch. And not only is no power on those punches, he needs himself to get countered like he just did with a straight right. And, and I believe he's hurt with this. And now Triple G is going to keep him there if he can. Brook once again erupts off the ropes. We're only halfway through the fifth round. Golovkin is now landing body shots again, as he did in round number one. And yes, he is. He's pop shotting right now, as you've seen a straight right. And Dominic, Dominic, in, the, hurt. in the far corner, hurt. is holding up a towel. Engel is trying to get referee Marlon Wright to stop the fight, and now he finally throws the towel into the ring, and Gennady Golovkin is going to have a technical knockout victory in round number five. It's an amazing decision on the part of Dominic Engel. We saw his urgency between rounds prior to that round. The winner by TKO victory, still the undefeated, universally recognized middleweight champion of the world, Gennady, Gennadyovich, Golovkin, a.k.a. Triple G. Nagdesisyon ang corner ni Kelbrook na ihinto na ang laban dahil sa dami ng solid shots na tinanggap ni Brook. Napag-alaman din pagkatapos ng check-up na nagkaroon ng fractured eye socket si Kelbrook na naramdaman ng boksingero sa round 2. Pagkatapos kay Kelbrook, hinarap naman ni Golovkin ang Amerikanong si Daniel Jacobs at muling nagtagumpay si Golovkin via unanimous decision. Si Kelbrook talagang matapang, si Errol Spence naman ang hinarap pero muling nabigo ng manakout ni Errol Spence sa round 11. So yan lamang po ang gusto kong ishare sa inyo ngayong araw sa mga kaibigan at kababayan natin sa Pinas, mga boxing fans at mga tulad kong OFW sa mampanig sa mundo kumusta po kayong lahat dyan kung nagustuhan nyo po itong aking video pakilike at kung po pwede rin po mag subscribe na rin po kayo maraming maraming salamat sa inyong panonood shout out kay Mr. Randy Barion ng Bahrain Kuya Art ng Pikit, North Cotabato Ronaldo Montes ng Queens, New York Rex Esken Lamongsod Art Mascardo Suave Takrawis Justin Sunga Andre TV Bernabe Orbita ng Misunami, Japan Michael Cario ng Digo City Jen Merjan Sumawa ng Pampanga at kay Mr. Billy Jubildad ng Tagig at Pampanga Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagsuporta nyo sa aking channel mm -hmm.